What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so we finally reached Veilstone City, and, well, this place is the place to be because you'll be able to find yourself quite a few things. I'm looking at this uh, handbook right here. Yeah, you're going to be finding some uh, good things. Part of this is a uh, myth says that Mount Corn imparted Sinnoh into halves. Seeing the Pokemon Shellas makes me uh, think maybe the myth is real, which is uh, they're talking about their variants and all that stuff. If there are people who desire to see them, people will, or Pokemon will appear in many different guises. Guises or geeses, whatever you like to pronounce it. And, well, let's see, let's see. What are we doing here? Let's see, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. You're a trainer, aren't you? You see, this is a Pokemon I'd like someone to look after. It's a Pokemon called Porygon. I found it near Team Galactic's building. I'm no trainer, but you can take it off my hands. And unfortunately, we already have a full team, but you can get yourself a Porygon right here. And the good thing is we already got an upgrade. So I'll be right back with you guys as we're getting Porygon. Okay, so we're back and yes, we're gonna be getting this Porygon run off this guy's hand. So there it is, guys, a free Porygon. Wow, who'd ever thought that we'd actually get a Porygon right here? And no, we're not going to be nicknaming this Pokemon. Now, the cool thing about Porygon is that it's a normal type Pokemon. It is virtually made. And, uh, well, as you guys can see, it has the ability Trace. And it does have some pretty good moves right here. If you give it, I guess, the upgrade and then another, well, the dubious disc and all that stuff, yes, it will evolve twice. One being Porygon 2, and then the other one being Porygon XY or something like that. Or Porygon Z, yes. So, let me put this guy back into the PC, and then we're going to be taking a nice tour of this whole area right here. So, I'll be right back, guys. Alrighty, so we're back, guys. And, well, let's go ahead and take a tour of Veilstone City. As you guys can see, there is the Veilstone department store, which will you can actually find yourself some pretty cool stuff. You know, different stuff. You know, different healing items and all that stuff. This is the place where you'll be able to find, let's see, potions, super potions and all that stuff. And then, yeah, TMs. And, well, as you guys can see, yes, we are we are all the way up to full heals and all that. And, well, let's see, if you talk to this lady, she's going to be selling you Ultra Balls right here. So if you guys need that, that extra push with the Pokeballs and all that stuff, this is the place to go. What I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to go into the TMs, and this person right here is going to be giving you a counter app. So let's go right ahead. Okay. Go forth and count. And there it is. We get ourselves a Pokétech counter, which will, will, it will allow you to count up to 9,999. Talk to this person, and this is the vitamin store, which will sell you vitamins. And this person will sell you the X, uh, the X items right here. And I wonder what this person actually sells. Let's see. May I help you with anything? Protein. Obviously, this person gives you advice of what these kinds of, uh, you know, vitamins do. And I think this is the place where you're going to be buying some TMs. Yes, it is. So, as you guys can see, we got Flash right here. We got everything. So, what I'm going to do is, yes, I'm going to be buying everything because, Jesus criminy. Switching up Pokemon and all that, and then uh, going through all this BS, and yeah, it, it would be nice to actually have some strategic stuff, like light screen and reflect, and then we're gonna get two flashes, and we're gonna teach one, we're gonna teach one to this ele this version of Electro Star because could God, we had to be switching out, and if you talk to this person, she is gonna be selling you the most powerful moves, which is Fire Blast, Thunder, Blizzard, Solar Beam, Focus Blast, and Hyper Beam. Obviously, I am spending a pretty penny on every single one of these guys. So here we go, Solar Beam, Focus Blast, and let's go with Hyper Beam right here, and there we go. Everything is now in order. Now, if you talk to this person, a friend traded me a Machoke using the DS Wireless Communication, but instead of a Machoke, I got a different Pokemon. Again, we're going to be yeah, we're probably going to be running into that person who, uh... Yeah, we're probably going to be running into that person who will trade you a Haunter for a Metacham. Only for you to find out that, yeah, that me that Haunter has, whatchamacallit, uh... Has an Everstone, which is annoying. It is freaking annoying. I remember, I remember the first time I got that. Now, here we're going to be buying some different I items for our secret base. Didn't even know that we can actually get a secret base here in Generation 4. And... Let's see, what does this place do? Let's see, talk to this, loyalty, consider a regular. Yes, she is a regular. Now, if you talk to these guys side by side, what's the problem? These guys are in buff. 
Yeah, and this guy will be giving you a Sticky Barb, which can, uh, it's a hold item for Poison-type Pokemon and inflicts damage. You can actually throw that to somebody, and then, well, let's see, I've been, uh, had enough for shopping, I'll grab a drink and then wine, and this is actually the place where you can actually buy some water, fresh water, and all that stuff, and, well, I think there is one more floor that we're not looking at, let's see. Let's see, let's go ahead and see, no, it's everything. And we're going to go straight back to the first floor. Now, what we need to do is we're going to be taking a look at everything else in Veilstone City. Of course, there is a Veilstone game corner and a prize exchange. I think that should be... Well, that's another thing that we need to check out. And as you guys can see, Tico Lactic is right here. And do you know where you might find a, a coin case? I heard that there's a clown giving them away. So, we got to find that clown. Of course, you're talking to a clown right here. And, well, if you go right here, talk to this guy. Salute, trainer! To a melee Pokemon? Mulozzi! J.G. Nile. All right, I don't even know how to pronounce that stuff, but this guy is French. And the game corner is dangerous. Why is it dangerous? It's so fun. I lose track of time, which is true. So, let's go ahead and find the clown. And I kind of have a feeling there is an item right here. Apparently there's supposed to be a rare candy around here somewhere. Let's see, let's go ahead and use our dowsing machine. It's always nice to use. So let's see. Huh, there's nothing. Yeah, why would they why would there be a platform right here? I don't know. Talk to this guy. Velston City is the the city of stone. We even have meteorites. This has nothing to do with uh, with anything but take this technical machine and we get ourselves the TM-63, which is Embargo. And, well, it becomes impossible to use any items with it. Enjoy, anyways, enjoy your visit in Veilstone, the city of, well, stone. That is true. Okay, so let's find, again, let's try and find that clown. And, well, let's see. Looking a little tired. Oh, no, not you. I meant your Pokemon. If you'd like, I could give it a massage to a Pokemon. And, well, as many of you guys already know, you massage a Pokemon, they will be more happy with you just because, well, you know. And here we get ourselves a wealthy coin for a fashion case. And let's see, my sister's boyfriend is a, is the scarf guy in the Pastoria City. They sent mail to each other by letting Pokemon deliver it, which is cool. And well, let's see, let's go right here. Again, we're looking for that clown. And there he is. You there, watch this coin. Spin, 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 spin. Now which hand did the coin, uh, is it on my left or right? So it's, yeah, okay, so let's try it again. Spin, spin, left, wow. Okay, spin, 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 right. And just because of that, we get ourselves a coin case from this clown, and well, talk to this guy. There are many magicians in the world, you know, the performance is an artist. Don't you think you maybe you say 5% of our actually psychics? Probably. Okay, so let's go right ahead and figure this one out with the, uh, what was it called? The Veilstone Game Corner. Now, if you go in here, it's pretty much exactly what you, you, you would imagine it would be. A game corner, the music's pretty awesome, and well, would you look at that. Our good old buddy Looker is somewhere right here. He's like, ah, it's you, yes! Examine if you will, their real the Team Galactic logo it is here. Further investigation is needed, and I am just the man to do it. Also, where the masses gather, so too does information. <laughs> My streak is broken. So, this is actually the place where you can actually play you can actually play the slots and then from here you can go to the prize exchange and get yourself some pretty good uh, some pretty good stuff so as you guys can see you can get a silk scarf wide lens zoom lens metronome tm90 tm58 tm75 32 44 89 10 27 21 35 24 13 29 74 and third and 68 and these are just you know these are just some pretty good moves that you know you would eventually want now let's see let's see I think that's pretty much it right here I think the next thing is we have to go into the Pokemon gym and uh, well would you look at that mm. Mm -mm -mm. our girlfriend's here he's like Draven are you going to take the gym challenge gee you keep getting tougher and tougher don't you me? Well, I went shopping at the department store and, uh, well, I mean, well, of course, I've been working on, on my Pokedex, but, and, whoa, look at this guy, Lucha Libre, Nacho Libre. 
The ring is rolling in the sea, the towering waves shake, and then, well, crash, 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 awake. Yes, I'm a tidal wave of power and wash you away. Put out the fire, crash awake, run there from electricity, crash awake. Ah ha ha. The ring is my sea. And oh wow, okay, so he's looking at us and he's gonna be like, hello dude, young lady. You're challenging the gym leader, are you? Let me tell you uh, now, she's young, but she's a born genius. I tried training with her and I was stunned uh, by how tough she was. Whoops, better, get, uh, better tell you who I am. I am the triple threat gym leader in Pokemon Wrestling and Song. I am Crash Awake of the Pastoria Gym. We'll meet again. That is true. Dot, dot, dot. Hmm. So, uh, Draven, good luck with uh, you, you challenging the, the gym. Yeah, okay. So, Crash Awake is an individual right there. And if you guys remember, this place is a... Uh, is a bit of a challenge just because the gym leader does have some pretty good Pokemon. And, uh, well, let's see. I gotta do some stuff before we do some stuff, so I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys, so here we are going into the gym, and I happen to teach a few of my Pokemon some different moves because, well, we're gonna be needing them right here, especially into a fighting type gym. And as you guys can see, this is literally a gym. A fighting type gym where a bunch of punching bags you have to move and well let's go ahead and press this little sucker right here and what we're gonna be doing is yes we're gonna be training the crud out of our Pokemon because well shoot yeah there's quite a few things that we need to improve on so let's go with Togepri yes I know and well karate quads and all that stuff here we have our good old buddy Machoke, and well, Togepri is a special attacker, so now it is actually able to actually fend for itself for the time being. So let's go with Gaia number two, and as you guys can see, we're gonna try and hit this guy, and it's confused. The low kick doesn't work, and there we go, getting a little bit of points. And Gaia two is learning a new move, which is Magical Leaf, and well, let's go right ahead and take away the Lucky Chant right here. And well, let's continue on right here. We're feeling lucky ourselves, and, well, just because we have the Shell Bell, it actually works for us right there, and, well, yes, you got crushed, my friend. Alrighty, so, in order to get by this whole area, you actually have to move the punching bags from section to section, and from there, there are going to be some spots where, you know, some tires are going to be lift, uh, like, are, are going to be right in front of you, so just make sure to, put, to push the punching bags where in that direction, that way you can move forward into this place, and, well, let's go right ahead and continue our little little battle right here. Let's go right ahead and switch out to Poseidon right here, because, yeah, the next gym leader, this gym leader has a pair of very powerful Pokemon. So, let's go right ahead and take on the Machop, and let's go with Pluck Attack. And there we go. And here comes Meditite. So, this is a perfect Pokemon to go after. And, well, comes Machop, or Machoke, I should say. So, let's go straight for the Confusion Attack. And I don't know why you're using, uh, yeah, Force, Force Sight. You should just attack. This Pokemon's defense sucks. And, well, he will not let us through. All right. Bring it on. So he, he's coming out with a Crow Gunk. As many of you guys already know, Poison and... It is a Poison and, uh, what was it called? Uh, Fighting-type Pokemon. Can mess you up. And, well, as you guys can see, it is now confused, hurting itself. So there we go. Gaia 2 is kicking some butt right now, and Toothless is now learning Slash, and, well, for the time being, let's go right ahead and take away, let's take away Sla uh, take away Sand Tomb, because, well, I kind of feel as though that, uh, what was it, uh, yeah, Return, well, Return will be a, a little bit later, it will be a lot, a lot more powerful, I should say, so, let's see, we gotta go in and out. And we're back inside. So what's going to happen right here is everybody's going to be back to their original location. And oh, wow. Okay, so everybody's back to their original location. And we still have to push these little punching bags right here. It's usually, you know, usually a mission. So let's go right ahead and move on ahead right here. There we go. That's one. And let's go ahead and push with all our might right here. And there's two. And let's go ahead and press this guy right here. There it is. And just like that, now we have access towards the extra well, part of the, this location right here. Now, 
Let's see. Hmm. Yeah. This is usually the one. This is usually the culprit that gets me. So let's go ahead and press this. And that right there was probably not a good idea because, well, we need a, we need these tires moved out of the way in order to move to the next section. So let's see. It's this one. So let's go right ahead and go towards this area right here. And he's like, where are the karate quads? I will strike a blow uh, for tears with my fist. I got tears. Okay. So here we go, taking on a karate quad, and he's coming out with a hair cross, and look at that, level 32. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Alrighty. Doesn't really help when your Pokemon is like quad, uh, quad weak to, uh, to flying type Pokemon. So here we are, and let's go ahead and press this one right here. And that will, that will actually liberate one spot right there. Now if you go, let's go ahead and press this back. And leave that open. If we can, uh, let's see. We have to go down there somehow. Just don't know how. Let's see. Yeah, okay. So, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Again, this is a puzzle. This is a, a very big puzzle. So, if we go right towards the back right here. Actually, no, you won't be able to do anything right here. Who the hell has the gym with cracks on their stuff? Oh, my God. As many of you guys already know, I have my own gym, my own personal training gym, and, uh, yeah, we have to be maintained at all times, and, well, let's see. Yes, we can go right here, and there is no way you can go right here, so let's see. If you go, let's see, I'm trying to figure this thing out. Again, guys, it's been a while since I've actually played this game, so do excuse the whole, you know, trying to figure out this whole thing. So what if we go right here, and let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. How do we do this? How do we do this? Because the key is that one right there. We just move this, so we just move that. So what if we move... I know many of you guys are yelling at me right now. Do forgive me, and uh, well, let's see, let's see. How about... Huh. Yeah, we can't go down there. So, let's go right ahead. Let's see. Not doing that. Okay, let's go right here. And that will open up this space right here. I'm trying to figure out how the hell how the heck how the heck do we get this one to this one? Okay, so let's see. What if uh okay, I I think I got it. It's just uh let's see. Right here. go and uh, now we just got to push this all the way to that tire because it's been the hell it's been the death of us right here so there it is and no more tire so now that we got access to this punching bag let's go right here and press this all the way over there and that is going to open up one more section of of this whole thing and well let's see press what if we press it right here? And that right there opens up another section. Now, the question is this. We opened up two. Now we gotta we gotta open up these this part right here. And where oh where could I go if oh you know what? It's very simple. Just go right here. Holy crud, okay, so yeah, sometimes you can't really see where you're going, guys. It, 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 like, everything's so cluttered up. It's not like in 3D where you can actually, like, you know... It's not It's not like in 3D where it's easy for you to just see, maneuver, and all that stuff. So, as you guys can see, bam. We have opened up a section. And this one will lead us right here, which... This is the final punching bag. And there she goes. Now, if we just push this all the way back... Bam. Okay, so we have open sections. And, well, it looks like it's time for us to actually get ready for this this Pokemon battle. So, what we're going to be doing right here is, well, let's go right ahead and give some super potions. Gaia probably won't be battling right here, so... And we're going to have to save this game because just in case, Maylene does have some pretty wonderful Pokemon that you'd probably want to use or battle. Okay... 
Bring it on. Hello, I'm pleased to meet you. I'm Aileen and I'm the gym leader. I don't really know what it means to be strong or how I got to be the gym leader. But I do the best I can as a gym leader. I take battling very seriously whenever you're ready. Okay, so here we go, taking on Maylene, the fourth gym leader of the Sinnoh region in Pokemon Platinum, and she is already turning Super Saiyan Rose, so let's go right ahead and take on her Metatite. Now, as you guys already know, Metatite is both a fighting and psychic type Pokemon, so you guys gotta you guys gotta you guys gotta understand something here that yes. Any kind of these moves, like, you know, Psychic Attack won't work on her. So, here she comes out with her most powerful Pokemon, Lucario. It is both a Steel and Fighting type Pokemon. Level 32, this Pokemon is a beast. But if you hit it with Fire Blast, it's uh, definitely going to get burned. And as you guys can see, its attack has weakened. And there we go, we're out of the woods. Because Lucario, it does have, it does have Swords Dance. You let it... Get a few swords dancing in, it's gonna, yeah, it's definitely gonna mess you up. And well, it has a level 29 mod choke, so what we're gonna do is, wow. <laughs> okay, let's not get too cocky right here. Let's go right ahead and go with a return attack. And it looks like to me we're not, we're not loved just yet, so there's go, there goes two Pokemon. Alright, enough screwing around, let's go with the pluck attack, and there we go. Machoke has been defeated. Alrighty, okay, there we go. And there it is, guys, Maylene, and she's admitting defeat. Yes, we are too much strong for her. Yes, yes, we are strong. Okay, you win. That was a tough loss. I learned a lot from it. Please accept my gym badge. And here it is, guys. We get ourselves the cobble badge. Oh, my God. I actually thought that we were going to struggle right here because, yeah, <laughs> Lucario is that guy. So, anywho, um, I would explain about the, that official Pokemon League badge. With it, you can use the hidden move Fly outside of battle. Ah, and since you have now, or you now have four gym badges, Pokemon obtaining traits will obey you up to level 50. Oh, and please take this as well. This right here is the TM60 Drain Punch. This right here inflicts damage while it robs the opponent of its, uh, you know, HP. She's like, gee, I'm hungry. Oh, sorry, it's nothing. I just didn't say anything. Draven, I can't explain what it means to be strong. I don't know how much effort goes into uh, being strong, but being the Pokemon or being po with Pokemon lets us make, keep making that effort, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Okay, so that is four badges in all, and well, we got to push one more bloody freaking punching bag, and this guy right here is going to open up the exit for us. And well, let's go right ahead and get the heck out of here away from this pole and uh, well let's see first is first we gotta revive some Pokemon because it, yeah our mission is still not complete let's go with a revive right here yes because this is what happens when you get a little too cocky okay so oh yeah and heal up our Pokemon you gotta heal up the Pokemon there we go Togepi Togetic and Gaia the Fierce Knight okay so let's get out of here and just like that, Don's gonna be looking at us like, Hi Draven, can you please help me? Uh, uh, some galactic goons took my Pokedex away from me. I need your help to get it back. I'll be waiting in front of the warehouses. Please come. Whatever you say, baby. Whoever has been missing with my girlfriend, I swear to God, I'm gonna, you know, they're gonna be catching these hands. So, what's gonna happen is, we're gonna be speeding through here. I know I could have taken a shortcut right there, but Superman is on his way. Bam! I'm here. Now, before we do anything, grab this. We get ourselves a star piece that will actually help us with, uh, you know, getting some more items. And... Hi, Draven. Please, can you help me? Do you remember Team Galactic? Those horrible people? They tried to steal Professor Rowan's research results in Jubilife, remember? I ran into them, and they took away my Pokedex. Please, I need your help. Team up and battle with me. Sure, let's go right ahead and have a double battle. And here it is. Let's see what's up. Okay, so here we have two Team Galactic Grunts, and they're going to be having the same Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and Bubble Beam them away. And here comes a Wing Attack. And here we go again. Now, Dawn has used uh, Gravity, meaning that it can actually... Well, these Pokemon can actually be hit by Ground-type attacks now. And, well, let's go ahead and take care of this. Get yourself a girl who supports you, and Mod Punch for the win. 
See, she's she's a partner that I don't mind losing the who can defeat more Pokemon battles thing. Yeah, I don't. Okay, so he's like, oh, that stinks. Our Pokemon are chumps. We should get new ones from the headquarters. <laughs> who cares about some Pokedex anyways? Team Collect is going on uh, to own all the Pokemon in the world. No, in the universe. Take, there, take it. Take your Pokedex. And, well, they're going to be going away. And, uh, well, they're going to be moving to Pastoria. Huh. What's going on? Why is Team Galactic out in the streets like they own the place? Draven, thank you sincerely. I would have lost my, uh, lost with, uh, I would have been lost without my Pokedex. It's indispensable for helping Professor Rowan in his studies. So, Draven, what are you going to do now? I'm thinking of going to the Pokemon Mansion in Route 212. I hear that there are rare Pokemon to visitors there. And, whoa, would you look at that? Looker's just, like, looking at us. He's like, have no fear, I have come running. I heard on children feuding with Team Galactic. It turns out, of course, to be you. Oh, and it's that funny man from Jubilife. You insult me with my to my face? How very uncomfortable of you. I'm terribly sorry. Team Galactic took my Pokedex, so I was very irritated. I just blurted out. I should be going now. Be wary of Team Galactic. You know, she really meant that. I'm just laughing about it. And, well, here we go. Looker's gonna, like... It, it is of no matter, of course, or of more interest is the criminal behavior of Team Galactic. They attempt to steal the belongings of child. The scale of their uh, criminality, it seems rather minuscule. The, tri uh, the triviality of their actions makes them more sinister, perhaps. Their warehouse needs to be it needs investigation. Come with me and take a look. Okay, so once we go in here, something very special is going to happen. He's going to be looking around. He's like, hmm, a key is necessary for us to go on. For the time being, we cannot give a chase to those who uh, run away. I'm looking around. And he notices something. He's like, huh. Ah, this hidden machine. It is the hidden machine for Fly. Draven, this you should uh, be keeping. It will not do It will not do. leave this uh, item here to be used by Team Galactic. So... He's like, so we did, uh, we did not learn very much from this exercise. No matter. What concerns me is what I have overheard in the game corner. The Team Galactic has transported something to Pastoria City. What they are up to, I do not know, but I have bad feelings about it. Hmm, that is true. So, let's go right ahead and grab this needed item. Yes, guys, we grabbed ourselves the HMO2 Fly. This is a very much needed move because, well, shoot... Yeah, our Togetic need it. So, that is pretty much it for this episode, guys. We covered a lot in Veilstone, and well, in the next episode, we're going to be going south. We're not really going to go to the Pokemon Mansion just yet, but we're going to be going south because now things are going to be picking up, and uh, we're going to be needing uh, everything we have in order for us to move on forward. Now, I'm looking at something right here in this handbook, and let's see. Do, 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 do. So, if you guys want to know what items you can actually get, the TMs were... TM90 was Substitute, 58 was Endure, 75 was Swords Dance, 32 was Double Team, 44 was Rest, 89 U-Turn, uh, TM10 was hidden, uh, hidden Power, TM27, of course, is Return, which I will probably be getting again, TM21 is Frustration, TM35 is Flamethrower, 24 Thunderbolt, 13 Ice Beam, 29 Psychic, 74 gyro ball and 68 giga drain so these are the kinds of uh you know stuff that you can gain over at the at the uh, game corner anywho in the next episode we are going to be going to routes 2 214 and 213 all the way to let's see where can we go let's see let's see let's see let's see where's the next place that we're going to be going to yes pastoria city because there is a something a very important over there that we need to get in order to progress so thank you guys here for watching if you guys want to support this channel there is uh yeah there is a merch store right there i'll be seeing you guys in the next episode as we continue our adventure here in Sinnoh. see you guys